Hello from US 75. I did some adjustments to my helmet cam, which is a Cena 10C Evo. I really like this camera because, and I like the communicator that comes with it. <laughs> It records uh, all audio that you hear on your headphones, on the speakers inside the helmet, except for telephone calls, and I think they do that for legal reasons. But uh, if you're in a group ride and other people are talking to you, that's recorded. I think uh, if you're listening to music, that's recorded, but I'm not uh, positive about that. I keep the music off, um, while I have the camera recording because if something happens I want a clear recording of the sounds that go with the, the action. So in my moto vlog yesterday I did a um, test of sticking a, a stick onto my bike by wedging the base uh, in the rider's backrest between the pad and the uh, support. As a support, that worked out very well. I, I also screwed on something to the base of it so it couldn't slip through. And that uh, just gave me peace of mind. And that worked out okay, except that, you know, you can't see my face. You're a little bit behind. It's a nice shot, but I want more of the front. And uh, this morning, I figured out how I could do that without putting hardware on my handlebars. And uh, it starts with the mount that uh, I put on my bike for my amateur radio handheld transceiver. You can see that in a past episode, link below, where I have these um, shoelaces that are spongy and stretchable, holding the, the radio into the mount. Quick release, quick install to, of the radio. And that worked beautifully for uh, holding one end of the stick. Lay the stick across my left handlebar, and you know what? I'll just use, it's called Lock Laces, locklaces.com. I have no affiliation with them, but they work so great. Uh, as the stick lays across the left handlebar, I will tie it to the handlebar like I'm locking my laces on my shoes quick and easy and so I'm gonna do a test of that recording Sound sync.
And we're riding with a different uh, 360 degree cam position. This time it's more a front. And as long as I don't get to, too close to uh, cars to my left, then uh, this is gonna work out great. I'm just doing a ride around the neighborhood. And uh, since the sun is just right when I ride into it, I might use this as uh, general writing shots in future videos because I have the Insta360 ONE X camera on uh, a longer pole than stock. And uh, it's uh, mounted across my handlebars. Now, I'm not using anything special other than I have uh, a mount on my right handlebar that I uh, sort of invented for holding a uh, amateur radio uh, walkie-talkie, to put it in uh, civilian language, an HT, handheld, handy-talkie. <laughs> And it's got lock laces on it, which is stretchable um, laces for your shoes. And uh, one end of the stick is just sort of looped in there, and the other end I'm just holding with my hand. And we're passing the fake Alamo that's near my house. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. And... Uh, I've said in videos before, but I'm a Texan, so I brag. Uh, during the siege of the Alamo, Captain Dickinson, which is featured in the uh, John Wayne movie of the Alamo, and his wife Susanna had a baby all through the movie. When Santa Ana would attack, the baby would be hidden behind a stone in the chapel of the Alamo. And uh, that baby became known as the baby of the Alamo. The actual baby is my great-great-grandmother. And Captain Dickinson and his wife Susanna, my great-great-great-grandparents. Okay, now I get the chance to turn into that beautiful light. Uh, for some of you who have asked, um, the Insta360 camera I have set to 4K log video. Uh, you don't have to know what that means except by itself it's going to look real plain coming out of the soup. And what you do is apply the Insta360 camera LUT, it's called a lookup table. When you process it, uh, in my case I use the desktop app, I don't use the phone at all. So I apply the uh, lookup table. Well, let me back up. Out of the camera, I use the desktop app to make it into an MP4 that uh, is equirectangular. It looks odd because it shows everything. And then I put it in a Final Cut timeline. It senses that it's equirectangular. <laughs> <laughs> equa rectangular and uh, gives you pan and tilt and roll controls that you can keyframe. To that I add the uh, camera LUT and I also add some contrast and uh, I'm told the video comes looking comes out looking very well. End of the sun again. Now, this should be more of a frontal view of a side riding shot. And uh, since you don't see my lip sync, you're gonna see this video sort of used 
whenever I just need a general riding shot. The camera on my helmet is a uh, Senna 10C Evo. I love it. I finally uh, found out, uh, discovered how to uh, mount it on the helmet with only a little bit of the helmet in the upper right corner intruding into the shot. And um, I use it pretty much uh, as is. I might bring down the brightness slightly sometimes. Sometimes not, depending on what kind of day it is. In this uh, really bright sunlight, maybe I will. But that 10C, it does real loop recording, not fake loop recording like a GoPro, where you have to have human interaction. Real loop recording. I can uh, record uh, on this chip anytime without regard to making space first because loop recording will record three minutes at a time and then I'm going to park here because I'm going to disassemble of this but to finish telling you, you over there that it, uh, the Insta360 has real, uh, excuse me, the Senna 10C Evo has real loop recording. Set up the camera to do loop recording. It does, it records three minute clips and starts a new clip. Each one end to end, um, a continuation without dropping a frame. And when the chip is full, it simply starts deleting uh, a clip at the beginning and moving forward. So you always have recording room. You don't have to clear the card. You don't have to format the card except initially. And uh, it's great. It's absolutely great. The one caveat on this Goldwing since you're now looking from the side, I have a port right here, and I didn't put the coiled power cord to the uh, Santa, and it never touches me, it's not in my way, and it will power the, the uh, Santa all day when you're just conversing. It'll power the Santa when you turn on the video. It will not power the Santa when you turn on recording. And, after, and it'll run out in less than an hour and quit recording because it's run out of, of battery power. Oh, Senna, if you're listening, let me tell you, what a marketing tool it would be if I could put that power cord on my headset and ride all day recording everything. A little redesign about how much power is delivered to the Senna so it can be powered all day from shore power. Wow, what a marketing tool, especially when you point out that the the uh, loop recording on a on a GoPro is not real loop recording. It requires your interaction from time to time every time you want to start it. So that's my wish list. That was, this would be the perfect headset camera and I love the fact that it records all audio you hear except phone calls. Wow, how nice and just that little redesign away from having it power all day long from the power cord plugged into your power port and recording the whole day if you've got a big enough car to hold all day which I've got a big enough car to hold several days before it starts uh, eliminating clips at the beginning
Anyway, time to park this thing, take out this pole so I can fit in a garage. Thanks for riding with me.